So, quick video here. Um, we needed a way to tell if a crankshaft was in true or not. We needed to test the run out on it. Um, and we didn't have a set of V-blocks, how you're supposed to do it. So we picked up this dial indicator from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's not great, but it measures in thousandths of an inch increments, which uh, the specifications of this crankshaft uh, called for no more than one thousandth of an inch. Um, and then we took this table saw table here, um, took two angle brackets and cut V's in them with an angle grinder. Um, and then I sanded this with 80 grit, 120 grit, 220 grit, and then 400 grit to get them nice and smooth. I'm just going to show you how it works here with this old crankshaft. So these V cutouts are pretty smooth, like I said, but I'm just going to add some grease to help this slide as well as adding some grease around the uh, bearing surface of the crank on both sides as well as anywhere that you want to put the dial indicator we uh, thought about using wood instead uh, just because it would probably be a bit easier to work with but Really, if you're measuring precise stuff like this, you're going to want metal on metal. As little play as possible is going to be better. And we knew that wood um, may have too much play in it. So you take your dial indicator, put it on the piece that you'd like to measure. You can see that. This thing actually is precise enough to uh, detect play. If I put it out on a piece that might have more play, if I bring this out to the end here, yep, there we go. You can see that this actually works. So in a pinch, if you need to measure the runout, uh, don't be afraid to improvise something.